Hello hi friends welcome to my new youtube channel MRT learning in this channel you will get the latest updates current affairs and general awareness and in and around issues of our country today our topic is solar system before that how big is universe for this question there is no exact answer because every day universe is expanding it is not stable so we can't estimate the size of the universe it's a vast and infinity so many galaxies are there in the universe along with our galaxy what is the name of our galaxy our galaxy name is milky way galaxy or akashaganga so there are approximately 10 power 11 galaxies along with that galaxy our galaxy is also one but we can know only one or two galaxies what all these galaxies consists of these all galaxies consists of billions of stars our galaxy milky way or akashaganga is also consisting of billions of stars which we are seeing in the night time along with these stars our galaxy consists of solar system what is solar system solar system is a family of sun sun is the head of the solar system along with the sun there are eight planets previously there are nine planets but now only eight planets so the ninth planet pluto is not considered as a planet presently why because planet pluto is not revolving around the sun in its own orbit it is coming out of the orbit that's why pluto is not considered as a planet presently but it is now called as a dwarf planet we have eight planets total first planet is mercury second one is venus third one is earth fourth one is mars fifth one is jupiter sixth one is saturn seventh one is uranus eighth one is neptune among these eight planets the largest planet is jupiter and the smallest one is mercury each planet is located far distance from the sun because of this distance each planet take separate time to complete the revolution around the sun for example mercury is the planet which is nearest to the sun to complete the revolution around the sun mercury take 88 days that means if you are living on mercury you will celebrate your birthday for every 88 days and the planet venus take 225 days to complete one revolution our earth 365 days that means one year we are celebrating our birthday for every one year because we are living on the earth next planet mars it take 687 days to complete one revolution and the next planet jupiter it take 12 years to complete one revolution around the sun because see the distance is very long from the sun that's why jupiter take 12 years and the next planet of jupiter saturn take 30 years to complete the revolution that means you will celebrate your birthday for every 30 years if you are living on a saturn next planet uranus it will take 84 years to complete one revolution and the next planet neptune it take nearly 165 years to complete the revolution so it is the revolution period of all the planets so these all the revolution periods of the planets if you come to the size matters we already discussed that mercury is the smallest planet and jupiter is the largest one what is the position of the earth in the size not in the position of place in the position of place earth is in third place but now i am telling about the position of the earth in the size first largest is jupiter second largest is saturn third largest is uranus fourth largest is neptune and fifth largest is earth now another important thing first four planets is called as terrestrial planets or rock planets first four planets mercury venus earth mars terrestrial planets and the last four planets is called as gaseous planets why first four is called as terrestrial because these four planets are made up of rock and metals and last four planets are made up of gas and those all are very large when compared to the first four planets sun is completely made up of hydrogen and helium and it is the biggest star which is near to the earth 
large part of the sun is completely filled with hydrogen and very interesting thing is the distance between the sun and the earth is 93 million miles and another very interesting thing is that it will take only 8 minutes to travel sunlight from sun to earth for example if you take usain bolt the fastest runner in the world if he start traveling from sun to earth he will take nearly 450 years to complete the travel from sun earth is called as blue planet and mars is called as red planet why earth is called as blue planet because we already know earth is completely filled with water 71% is of water on this earth and why mars is called as red planet because mars is completely filled with the red soil because of that mars is looking like a red planet venus is called as morning star or evening star because from some parts of there we can able to see the planet of venus and venus is also called as twin planet of the earth and last but not least interesting thing about these planets is these planets are non luminous body that means these planets can't light in itself but sun can light in itself because it is a star and another thing is moon is also a non luminous body it can't produce light itself but how we are able to see the moon because the sunlight which is falling on the moon it reflecting because of that reflection we can able to see the moon in the next video we can see the interesting facts of each planet and i am requesting you all please like share and comment if you like this video and please subscribe the channel and click on the bell button for the latest updates from this mrt learning channel